Welcome to Fort Jefferson and the Dry Tortugas National Park. Many people come here to snorkel in the beautiful Florida Keys waters, and we're going to show you each of the spots where you can snorkel. Many people come from the Yankee Freedom Ferry and go straight to the beach, but there's actually a lot of places you can go. One of the first ones is at the South Pylons. This is an old dock that has coral all growing over it now. Another place is all the coral heads outside of the main fort and past the beach. Or you could just swim around the entire fort walls. And the last place is the North Pylons. Now we're going to look at all the different places and show you videos of us snorkeling there so you can expect what you're going to see when you go. First we're going to start on the closest one which is the South Pylons. Here you're going to find all kinds of coral growing off of. You're going to find coral growing off of all the posts of these. It's pretty tight quarters, so if there's lots of people here, maybe a little cramped, but it's very easy swimming. You just want to be careful not to touch anything. If it's pretty calm weather, you may sit try going without flippers because flippers sometimes actually get in the way in these tight quarters. But there's plenty of fish, anemones, tons of different types of coral, and just a really great time snorkeling here. And keep an eye swimming there and back you may find a little sea slug like we did here. If you go straight to the beach and just start swimming out you're going to come to the coral heads. Now this is a lot of seagrass with some clumps of coral um, all dotted throughout this area. Found some lobsters here and just lots of different fish and coral. It is quite beautiful. If you go too far out it gets pretty deep though. This would be a really great spot, especially on really clear days. This day we were going was a little bit more murky. We had had some wind before we went on this part. This would probably be for the more advanced swimmers, but it's still quite easy. Or you can swim around the entire wall. I would suggest starting at the north side. We found a lot of beautiful coral and fish there and you're going to probably have less people around you if you start there. When you swim around the entire wall, just leave it on your left side and you'll end up right at the beach. Tons of fish and a lot of coral here. It is also a great place to get some of those beautiful over and underwater pictures right in front of the fort. The place we were most surprised about with the north pylons, you can either start on the south side or the north part of this by swimming around the edge. We started on the south side and it was very shallow and not much coral at all, super hot water. But as we started swimming further and further, we came to a deeper spot. And there was millions of bait fish and bigger tarpons and snapper and all kinds of different fish here. This was a truly magical experience on this side.
Now some different things to consider when you are planning to snorkel here, and one of them is wind. If the wind is coming from the north, like up here, then the north pylons in this area may end up not having the greatest visibility. You're going to want to snorkel on the bottom side. You'll get the best visibility in your snorkeling. And of course, in the same way, if you have the wind coming from the west side, then this north and east side is going to be the best area for snorkeling. And if you have the wind coming straight this way, the beach and the coral heads area will probably be your best bet, or all along the wall. So take a look at your area and decide which is best for you on the day you're going. We have a whole series of visiting the Marquesas and also the Dry Tortugas. So take a look at that and just see some of the amazing experiences we've had here. Hopefully you'll have your own awesome experiences when you come.